They're smart, they're vicious, and they're going to protect their country, whether they love their country, they probably do. It's just a different form of love, but they're going to protect their country. And Israel would have never been attacked. It could lead to World War III. That can lead to World War III. The Middle East can lead to... We have numerous places. We have numerous places that could end up in yeah. a World War III right now for no reason whatsoever. Gosh, okay. I think you're right. I think I think people under underrate the risk of World War III. And it's just... The, the, you know, when, when looking at the risk of global thermonuclear warfare, it's game over for humanity. And, you know, that's... It's something that people have, I think, after the end of the Cold War, people have become complacent about, but they actually have forgotten that there are currently a lot of nuclear missiles that, 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 are, that, that have targeting parameters for the United States, for other countries. And one of the things and, we're going to do uh, is we're going to build yeah. an Iron Dome over us. We're, you know, Israel has it. We're going to have the best Iron Dome in the world. We need it. And we're going to make it all in the United States, but we're going to have, we're going to have protection. Because it just takes one maniac to, you know, start something. We're going to have protection. And we're going to have, why shouldn't we have an Iron Dome? Israel has one. Some other places yeah. have one that nobody even knows about, frankly. But uh, Israel has it. We're going to have an Iron Dome. But, you know, with all of that being said, to me, that's so important, the most important. But with all of that being said, the election's coming up and the people want to hear about the economy and the fact that Absolutely they can't true. buy groceries because they don't have enough money to buy groceries. The inflation has killed them. Food prices are up 50, 60, even 100% in some cases. And this this stupid administration allowed this to happen. And it's a shame. And that's the thing that people most care about, in my opinion. They care about the border a lot. And we discuss the border at great length. And it's nice to have yeah, a forum yeah. like this where I can discuss something at length. And by the way, you think Biden could do this interview? Do you think that Kamala could do this interview? They would take a pass no, on you. No, they could not. So the, the, they don't need Elon. They don't need Elon screaming out questions. It's it's pretty sad when you think that somebody that does this for a living can't answer a question or is afraid to do an interview. And in her case, with a very friendly interview, she's got all friendly interviewers. It's pretty yes, sad. Absolutely. But the big thing now is the well, economy, that, Elon. Yeah. And as much as... Yeah. I mean, I view nuclear as the single most important thing, but a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't understand that. But it doesn't have to. If I understand it, that's all you need. Because if I was president, you're not going to have that kind of a problem. But the the thing that they really is making them angry is what Kamala and Biden have allowed to happen to the economy. It's a disaster with inflation. The inflation. It yeah. doesn't matter what you make. The inflation is eating you alive. If you're a worker. Or if you're a, a uh, just a, a middle-income person, you can't afford. You know, four years ago, five years ago, people were saving a lot of money. Today, they're using yeah. all their money and borrowing money just to live. It's it's a horrible thing right. that's happening. Don't miss out. Follow One India for real-time updates.